Hey, my name is Mike and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a professional website in just 10 minutes. So I've made hundreds of websites, but most people always assume that it takes hours and hours to make one. It takes thousands of dollars and coding expertise. The truth is that's all wrong. I'm going to show you in this video exactly how you can make a website in just 10 minutes. And we're starting on my laptop right now. So to get started, we'll go to santralmedia.com slash hostinger. That's our partner link. We worked with them to get you guys the best deal. And I'll show you how to save money in just a minute. You can also copy and paste the link from our description or just click on that and it'll bring you to this page here. We'll click on claim deal. And there are three different options. I'm going to go with the middle one. Of course, read through these and figure out what the differences are for yourself. And then we can choose the duration. It doesn't matter which of these you choose, except do not choose the one month. You're going to spend way more money on that. There's a setup fee. You're going to have to pay for a domain. And in the end, it's going to be like $40 for one month, or you could pay basically that same amount of money for an entire year. So you're saving a lot of money with that. I recommend going with one of these three. For me, if I know I'm going to keep a website for a long time, I just get the 48 months. Now we can create our account. Now I'll type in my payment information, but do not click submit just yet. So before you click submit, make sure you click on have a coupon code. And now we're going to type in Santrell. Santrell 10. That'll give you 10% off this entire order, which again, if you're getting four years, is 10% off the next four years. And now we can click submit. And that'll prompt us to make a password. And then we can click on start now. We can skip all of this stuff. We don't care about any of that. And I'll show you how to make a website in a second. And now we want to claim our free domain. If you got the, the well, at least one year, up to four years, you will have a free domain. Let's say it's like a protein supplement company. So I'm just going to call this Santrell Supplements. See if that's available. .net. We actually want .com search. And you can always check out these domains in other places or buy them other places and import them. But you are getting a free domain with Hostinger. So that's why I'm going to choose that one. Now we can choose our location, enter our contact details, and then we can finish the setup. All right. So now we can go to manage site. On the left side, we can click on website and we can go down to auto installer. This is going to install WordPress very easily. Like we're not going to do anything. We'll click on select for WordPress. And now we can choose our website title. And now we can choose the admin name, the password for WordPress this is a different account here. Keep in mind, we can choose the website title and then we can just say next. Now we'll say install and it's going to be installing WordPress on this website. I promise this is going to get very, very easy in just a minute. Great. So now we have WordPress on our website. We could either click edit website right there or what I want to show you for future reference is you just type in your domain. So Santrell supplements dot com slash WP dash admin for WordPress administrator. Hit enter and it'll take you to this login page. This is how you'll access your website every time in the future. And that'll bring you to the WordPress dashboard, which I know might look intimidating, but we want to go down here to appearance, click on themes, and we're going to be installing something called Astra. So we'll click on add new on the top. We'll go to Astra, which is on the right. You could also search for it. We will click install and then don't just go out of this. You have to make sure you click activate. It's going to require activation. We'll click activate. This is free to use. Of course, WordPress in general is free to use pretty much everything in this video from now on is free to use. So the $172 I showed you before really was the extent of things. Now over here, we'll go to Astra. We'll click on that. We'll go to dashboard. And down here, we want to go to install starter template. So right there, it's going to be installing and we can build the entire website based on somebody else's template. So it's going to save us a ton of effort. We're going to click on Elementor. That is the website builder we'll be using within WordPress. And now you can go through these templates and find one that makes sense for you. So we're selling online. I'm going to search for. I'm going to search for supplements. So this website could be absolutely anything you want, but for this, I'm actually selling something. So I'm going to go to online shop. We'll click on that and we'll find one that makes sense for us. So you'll notice some of these are free and some of these are premium, but I actually found this one right here. Organic store makes perfect sense for what I'm selling. And this one's free to use. Now we can upload our logo. So I will just upload this logo right here. We can select it. Now that's ready to go. We can choose how wide the logo is on the top. I think that's probably a good size there. We'll say continue. We can change our colors. This is a red logo. So I want a red based website. I think that looks pretty clean with this. And down here we can choose our font pairing as well. So maybe we want that font, something a little bit larger, a little more bold. And now we can submit and build my website. And just like that, we have a website ready to go. Let's click on view your website, but we're not obviously done yet. This is not our stuff. 
but you can see overall like it's it's pretty well made everything's there we have different pages we have a checkout page we have our logo which links back to the home page but now let's talk about editing this which just quick little crash course if we click on edit with elementor we can edit the entire website so on any page this is really just a drag and drop editor which is why we liked using elementor like i said free to use and the way it works is you have what's called a section layout so you have this entire section here outlined in pink and then you go down here this is an entire section basically anything with a different background is a unique section within each section you have columns and you have elements so this has two columns here outlined in gray and within each column you have several different elements so we've got a little picture we have text we've got more text we have a button and anything you want to add is on the left side so if i wanted another button in here i just click and drag the button over there and it'll drop it in there if i want to remove something i can click on the pencil icon or sorry i could right click on the pencil icon click on delete and that'll get rid of it if we want to edit any text you can simply double click on the text and you can change what that actually says so now another thing to note is if we want to rearrange these, so let's say maybe we want this section right here to be below this section down here, you can very simply click and drag with these six dots and just drop it down there and it'll move exactly where you want it. We can also add sections in between by clicking the plus and we can either choose some pre-made ones, we can have our own templates, or we could just start with a blank one, which again, you can choose if you want one column, two columns, two columns that aren't exactly uh, symmetrical. And you can also readjust where that is, where that boundary is just by clicking and dragging. So just to kind of go a little further with this, if we want to have a heading on the left side and then click on the nine dot array, maybe we want an image below that. You can go and drop an image below it. Uh, I accidentally dropped an image next to it. So let's drag it over to under it. There we go. We have an image right there. And now let's go and add maybe a button underneath that. So we can click and drag a button down there. And then maybe on the right side, we just want to have a paragraph. So you can go and add text editor on the right side. Now with any one of these, you simply click on them. You can adjust everything on the left side, choose the image. Uh, you can change like the font. You can choose what that text is actually going to say. Again, all of that over on the left side. Now, other than that, we want to make sure this is very, very important. Always click the update button as frequently as possible to make sure you are saving your work. And this is absolutely essential. Most people forget to do this because they assume everybody will be looking at their website on a desktop like this when in fact many people will be viewing it on mobile so if we click on responsive mode this bar pops up on the top we can click on mobile and it'll show us the mobile view of our website so this is really important to always check this out and if there's something you don't like for example maybe i just really don't like this section or this element or this whatever this column you can click on that so if we click on the six dots for the section i'll show you how to hide the section on mobile and the same is true if you do an element like i said we can go over to advanced we can go down to responsive and then we can say hide on mobile portrait. So we hide on mobile that will now be gone. But if we don't want to hide that, let's say whatever, we can keep that, but we just don't want this image. You can click on the pencil icon, go to advanced and once again, responsive and hide on mobile. You can do the same thing on desktop if you want something only on mobile. And now I think this is really important. If we click on the three bars, we can go to exit. We can exit to the WordPress dashboard. So a quick little crash course on the WordPress dashboard. The posts are going to be any of your blog posts. If you go to all posts, you can see all the ones you have. You can add a new one or we could select the ones that we don't like and move them to trash because those are just examples. Similarly, we can go down to pages and these are all the static pages on your website, not blog posts. But think of the big ones like the about page, the home page and different things like that. Again, when you get a template, a lot of these are going to be pre-populated. So make sure you go through and any of them that you haven't updated, make sure you update them and any ones that you don't need, make sure you go and delete them. And then down here, a lot of these are just plugins that we have. So we have WooCommerce, for example, cart flows, any of the plugins you don't want, you can go down to plugins. And the idea is to have as few necessary plugins as possible. You don't want to have a ton that are useless. So if we don't, if we don't want cart flows, for example, we can select it, we can deactivate it. And then of course we could also move it to trash. So now that it's deactivated, we can click on delete and we can say, okay. And now cart flows will be moved to trash. Now, if you want to add new plugins, you can click on add new on the top. And there are a ton that you can browse from. Many of these are free to use as well or freemium. They might have a paid version as well as a free version. And the last thing I want to show you is actually down in settings. When you go to settings, you want to make sure that you have your site title named. That's correct. We want to make sure that the WordPress address has an S in it. That's that's how you know you have SSL like that right there. So now we'll save changes. 
Okay, now we want to go down to permalinks and you want to make sure that your permalinks is selected to uh, this one right here, post name. That's going to be the easiest one for managing all the different pages on your website. And of course, you want to make sure you go down and save changes. And that's kind of a quick crash course of how to use WordPress. Now we have a full tutorial. If you want some more in-depth training on how to use Elementor, I'll link that in the description below, but more or less, we have a website that is ready to go in just 10 minutes. All you have to do is change your text, change your images on here, and your website with your domain and your logo and everything is professionally made and ready to go. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. And of course, as I said, we have a full free training that is multiple hours long on how to do every little intricate detail here. So I recommend getting started with this. And then if you want to learn more, if you want to find some more details to bring your website to the next level, check out that free training. I'll have the link in the description below. So I'm Michael Bryan with Santral Media. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the best of luck with your website.